who knows what a private finance initiative is. Is it a piece of economic sorcery? Uh, it's a debt. That debt is affecting your hospitals. And you are paying for it. Right. In 1992, the Conservative government needed money for hospitals, roads, schools, prisons. However, they also wanted to cut public spending. So, some bright spark from the Treasury decided that private finance initiative schemes were just the ticket. This involved the private sector funding and constructing new buildings leasing them to the public sector at very high rates of interest. And locking the public sector into 30 or 50 year contracts to repay the debt. Lovely new buildings sprang up all over 1990s Britain. And what's more, the borrowing didn't appear on the balance sheets. In 1997, New Labour thought the PFIs were such a great idea, they used them with complete abandon. While in opposition, George Osborne dismissed PFIs as discredited. Oh. But in his first year as Chancellor, he pressed ahead with 61 schemes worth a total of £6.9 billion. Now, I want you to pay attention to this graph. The top bump represents the private sector's 8.3 billion outlay for public service investment. And the bottom bump represents the 53 billion pounds it costs the taxpayer to repay that investment. Some PFI charges could be described as one hospital for the price of two. Or three or four or four. Which has forced a number of health trusts to sell off their buildings and land. It's not an ageing population or patient demand that's going to push the NHS services to the wall. It's a lack of funding and crippling PFI interest repayments. PFIs are the direct privatisation of buildings and estate we were given by our grandparents. Why aren't you angry? Why aren't you angry?